Hi, this is Adrian from Whitehack Box, and today we are presenting the all new Spinner Chief 4. It's taken us over a year to develop, and there's lots of new features. So let's get straight on and show you the first new feature, which is the good words and the bad words. Now, when you have an article and you want to spin it, there are words in that article which are always going to work quite well when you spin them. And these are the good words. And this is the icon here which shows you the good words. If we click on it, you can add good words, you can manage them, you can enable the cloud or the local good words or disable the feature altogether. So what does this mean when there's good words? Well, in an article, there are always going to be words that when you spin them, they always work because they're very good words to spin. For example, if we have the word, uh, I'll type the word salary in. This is on the good words list. And you can see the words that we, the synonyms that we get for salary, income, wage, earnings. These are always very good words to replace and they very rarely cause a problem. You can also add good words to the list yourself as well. Let's say you have the word Holland. And we'll see the synonyms for that. Now these are all very, very good synonyms and they're hardly ever going to be incorrect. So you might want to add that to the good words list. So all you do is click on here and add it as a good word. You can also manage your list of good words. Here we are, manage good words. Here's the GUI for management. You can see the word Holland that I've already added. You can add a new word in here as well. You can sort your list or you can delete. Also, you can either use the cloud good words list or use your own local good words list. Now the cloud good words list, we've worked on that for a long, long time and it's very, very good. And of course, every time a user adds a good word to the good word list, then that is taken up into the cloud and will appear the next time the, the list is updated. So it's only ever going to get better and better as a function. So when Spinner Chief spins and the good words are enabled, the first thing it does is look through the entire article and compare it with its list of good words and it replaces every instance of them. So you know straight away that the first part of the spin is very, very good. It's going to be human readable and it's going to be unique for those words that it replaces. So instead of counting one, two, three, four words spin, one, two, three, four words spin, and forcing a spin on a word that maybe won't work so well, it initially starts by looking at all the words that it knows are going to work very, very well because it looks at the words on the good words list. So that's the good words list. There's also a bad words list. Now I should think you've probably worked out what this is already. Here's the icon for the bad words list. It works in a very similar way to the good words list. It works the other way around to the good words list. There are many words in any article that are not so good to spin. And the reason is because they've got multiple synonyms. And this is why it's so difficult for spinners to create spun articles that are human readable. Let's have a look at an example of a bad word. Let's say, for example, the word how. Now that's a very common word and it has multiple meanings. Let's just have a look at the synonyms. Just look at all these synonyms that are available for how. And with the best will in the world, you're never really going to get the best synonym for that word because Spinner Chief doesn't really know the context in which you're using it. So the best thing to do is just not to replace that particular word. So we place it on the bad words list. It works in exactly the same way. You can add bad words. You can manage them. You can use a cloud bad word list, which is very large, very extensive, and we've spent a lot of time on it. And of course, it's only going to get better as users start adding bad words to their own list. In the same way as the good words, when a spin's operated, the after it's done the good words, Spinner Chief will look at all the bad words and mark them as not to be spun. So it won't even attempt to spin words that are on the bad words list. So these are two great new features in Spinner Chief 4 and they're going to help you to spin more accurately 
more human readability and still keep the article unique for spinning. So let's go ahead and look at another great feature. You may have seen this before, but it's the negs. How do negs work? Well, this is about synonyms, not words. So if we go back to the word that we looked at before, the word salary, and it's on the good words list, as we know, that's because these synonyms at the top are very good and they're almost always going to work. But here's one, for example, he earned a good salary, he earned a good income, he earned a good wage, he earned a good earnings. Mm, that's not so good, is it? So you may want to delete that as a possible synonym. And here's the neg button here, you just click it, it's gone. It's not going to use that synonym anymore. That's gone to your local negs list, but it's also been taken up into the cloud. Again, the same as the good and bad words, you can use your own negs, or you can use the cloud negs, or of course, you can not use them at all. But the cloud neg, again, there is a good, very good list already on the server, and it's only gonna get stronger as people start adding their own negs. So now let's go ahead and look at the new improved super spin function. Now you've seen this before with spin achieve free, I'm just going to paste a quick article in here. I'm going to super spin. Now you can see that you've still got the old spinner chief three spin method. If that's what you're used to and that's what you want to use, that's fine. But this new method is a lot more powerful and it's a lot easier to use. It automatically uses the good and bad words and the cloud negs, regardless of whether you've got them enabled or not. So really, it works straight out of the box. All you have to do is hit the super spin button. So we'll hit it now and look down in the bottom right hand corner for the speed. Here we are. And there it is done. How fast is that? Also, you can look down here. You can see it's 69% unique. And we've used the good words, the bad words, the negs, and also the improved system of synonym selection. We can go into the spin dialog and do a, a quick spin. Let's hit don't use original words so that we're not spinning words that are already there in the article because that's cheating, isn't it? And we can enable the show change words as read and give it a quick spin. And that spins immediately, of course. And you can see that there's quite a lot of synonym replacement there. The article should be fine for posting and the and we'll go into the accuracy of the output in the next video, but we can just see here, are you set to possess a dog? Are you contemplating obtaining a dog or a pup? Learning about deciding on the best dog or pup to fit your lifestyle and find out about the very strains of dog you can choose from. So you can see that's reading really well. It is new, it's improved. Everything's working towards making your articles even more human readable than before. Now, if you thought all that was good, and it is, wait till you see the next feature. And here it is. Yes, it's Spinner Chief on the web. You can now use Spinner Chief on the web, just the same as you can Word AI and all the other web-based spinners. How much does it cost? Well, it doesn't cost you anything if you've bought the Spinner Chief desktop application. You can use both for exactly the same price. And this is the home page. You can either log in, or if you haven't signed up yet, sign up first. Just click this button here. The usual stuff, username, email, and password. You register and you get a verifying link in, the, in your email. If you've bought Spinner Chief Desktop, you also get a serial code so that you can use the advanced Spinner Chief 4 version on the web, just the same as you can on the desktop. So we'll go back to the signing page and I will sign in. And there is Spinner Chief on the web. So it's got all the same functionality of your desktop Spinner Chief. And I'll give you a quick demo here. Let's put the same article in that we were using earlier on. So I've pasted it in. Just go to Auto Spin. There is a free version. But of course, if you want to use Super Spin or any of the other advanced features, then you will be asked to enter your serial number that you receive in your confirmation email when you've purchased Spinner Chief. So let's go into the Super Spin settings. Again, same as the desktop version. There is the Spinner Chief old version here if you want to use it, but 
We've got the simplified and more advanced Spinachi 4 spin method. That's it, it's straight out the box. It's set to spin to most readable. You could spin to most unique or any of the options in between. Let's spin to most readable. Hit spin, that's it. No settings to think about. Just hit the spin button and there it is done. So this is a big advance from Spin Achieve Desktop. You've now got exactly the same functionality on the web and it comes to you at no extra charge when you buy Spin Achieve 4. But that's not all. I have another great feature of Spin Achieve 4 to show you. Here we are back at Spin Achieve to show you the final new function of Spin Achieve 4. Now in the advanced functions here, you may know about the mix scrape function. We have now disabled the mix scrape function in Spin Achieve because we've produced a completely new standalone software to do a much better job than, the, than this function. So when you click on mix scrape, you get this new dialog which tells you that it's no longer available because now all users of Spin Achieve can freely use Content Bomb. Now the serial code for Content Bomb will appear in this box here and all you need to do is copy it and then close the box off like this. Now you go to the White Hat Box app and you can see Content Bomb here. Just click on Download. When it's downloaded you can hit the Run button and then you want to enter your details with the serial number that you copied from Spinner Chief. Then you paste in the serial number that you got from Spinner Chief. Then you click this button to log in. All you need to do is close off this opening dialog and you're ready to go. In the next video we'll show you how to use Content Bomb fully so look out for that one. In the meantime, thanks for watching this demo of Spinner Chief 4. Hope to see you in the next video soon.